How you doing guys? Welcome back, it's LSP. It's currently the 2nd of April 2021. Uh, I'm going to be doing the usual breakdown on Bitcoin, Ether uh, and CHSB. Before I go into uh, anything, um, just remember guys, these are just my thoughts and opinions. Uh, always do your own research, you know, and make sure whatever game plan that you have for your trading or investing, you know, that you stick to that uh, and that's it. So I will start with Bitcoin. Um, as uh, as I mentioned, not a lot has changed since yesterday when I did the video uh, update. Um, we are stabilizing in this area here. Uh, what is interesting and important to note now is that we have since cleared, uh, I believe, so we came at uh, 60,008 or 60,083, uh, and I believe this was slightly higher uh, at 60,103, yeah, so we did actually tap into this liquidity up here, um, and we're just getting a small, small sort of uh, uh, pullback, if we just extend this liquidity pool, and it's actually here, um, you'll see, well, a little bit higher actually, uh, and you'll see that we're stabilizing here, uh, this was the dead giveaway, as I said, um, and it's poised, I believe now, you know, for a nice strong run um, towards these previous highs up here. I am going to leave this uh, this area up here because it's still significant and still relevant, you know, to the analysis that we're doing. Uh, so just bear that in mind. Um, but the, uh, and I'm not going to discuss this or overly discuss this uh, too much, but this area right here, okay, is what it's actually working off as it continues to bounce into these levels. Um, so the longer it stays up here and the more it deals off the liquidity in this area that it's picked up along the way, okay? So from here to here to here and all of these pickups all the way up, it's dealing off that liquidity up here and this is what it's working off just here. And that last portion of liquidity that needs to be dealt off is literally here. Yeah, just above the highs, which it just tapped into. So on that next push, we should see a run through this level, okay, and start to challenge this small area up here. Um, but as always, guys, you know these are, you know, this is uh, analysis that I do, um, and then obviously I wait for confirmation of things that I personally want to see before I make any trading or investing decisions. And this is what's really important. Always make sure that you have a plan A, B, C, D, and E, and F, and G. You know, you've you've got to know how to use this information which I did mention in the chat, um, you know, uh, today, you know, you have to, you have to know how to use the information that you're being, you know, present, like, presented with. And it's not just because I'm presenting it that you have to listen to me. I'm making it very clear um, what I'm looking at, what I'm seeing, and I'm letting the uh, results of, of, of what happens after I've said it show whether or not, you know, um, I am a trusted source. Yeah, so I'll leave it like that. Um, but so far, so good. I remain bullish on Bitcoin, you know, uh, and I do believe that we're going to be challenging the previous highs up here. So we'll just jump back over to the daily, zoom in a little bit, and we'll just kind of leave this like so. Uh, and we'll see how it pans out over the weekend. Uh, Ether, um, great study, as I said, um, a phenomenal study, actually. You know, we, we, we kind of um, stabilized in this area as I, you know, as I was discussing and expected. And then I did say yesterday, we're going to see 2000, which we did today. Uh, I believe the high was just over. Yeah. So, uh, 2010, um, and again, nicely controlled price action, efficiently delivered. Um, and I, uh, you know, I, I see this continuing. Um, we had a big relief here. Okay. So from that initial explosion to the upside, we've had a really nice relief here. And if you notice, if you notice, if you want to do the study, look where price stopped. So it came all the way back down here into this small section of price uh, delivery just there. Okay, if you want to do the study, I suggest anybody do this. Go and look at that small area right there on a lower time frame. Yeah, find it on your charts and then go and have a look at how price was going back and forth within this area and then what price did as it came back down and tapped it just there. On the low, and then obviously we, you know, proceeded to go all the way back up, and we dropped just there again to pick up more liquidity accumulation. Then we get this really nice price response. Uh, I do believe that this is going to continue um, going forward, but obviously be mindful because um, we can't just expect ether to just keep going up in a straight line. Yeah, when we see, and I'll illustrate something, when we see a weekly candle like this, really strong. Okay, we think, okay, it's very strong. It's going to keep going. 
Yeah, but when we go down to the daily, how is that week being formed? And we can see it's being formed nice and controlled, yeah, with relief along the way. As price is releasing, releasing, you know, it's dealing off liquidity, dealing off liquidity, and it's, it's the ebb and flow is nice on the way up. It's not just an explosive parabolic move. It's nice, it's controlled, you know, and then when we finally break those highs, which we did, um, it didn't explode, yeah? That's a, a very good sign that we're going to get continuation. But we also have to be mindful that we may, you know, um, as it starts to run a little bit and get into an area where uh, it's new chartered territory, it will start to pull back a little bit as well. Uh, and we also have to be mindful of spikes like this where we get these, you know, pretty aggressive drops, you know, where people are going to be taking profits, you know, and, 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 and offloading some of their positions or transferring into other cryptos. So let's go over to Swissborg which has been uh, <laughs> the topic of conversation today in the uh, in the chat for obvious reasons. And before I before I say anything about Swissborg, um, I, I just want to say, you know, um, that I, I do feel for, for everybody, you know, that's in Swissborg, that's in CHSB. But it depends what your reasons are, you know. Um, obviously, uh, anybody that purchased, you know, the Swissborg token down here, you know, it doesn't really care what's going on with Swissborg right now. Yeah. Whereas anybody that, you know, purchased up here expecting the continuation and for, you know, CHSB to just complete, you know, com completely go and just keep going and going and going. They're sitting, you know, on a, on a you know, uh, on a on a pretty significant loss in terms of percentage, um, because obviously everybody's invested different amounts, you know, not everybody's in for hundreds of thousands, you know, or 50,000 or 20,000. Some people have a couple of thousand, some people have 500, you know, um, but the, the percentage is the same. The percentage from here to here, that's the loss that you're going to feel. And I feel, I feel uh, for anybody that's in that situation, I really, really do. And I would never want to dissuade or take away from anybody, right, that is going through this, you know, but what I will say very quickly is that we have traders and we have investors and the mindset of those two um, people is completely different and this is so important for people to understand traders aren't looking at uh, chsb now and thinking it's fine i'm just going to be patient and wait what you'll find is a lot of people who have the traders mindset that short time frame i just want to make money now what they're going through is probably more geared towards I'm losing money and now I'm being forced to hold on to this because I don't want to take that loss. As opposed to, this is a healthy pullback, as the, the investor would be thinking, this is a healthy pullback, this is natural, this is normal, it's expected, okay, because I keep saying CHSB cannot keep going up in a vertical line, you know, um, and they're looking for more opportunities to potentially accumulate more or to just allow it to do its thing. The horizon that they have is way ahead 12 months to, you know, to five years down the line, a year to five years in some cases, you know, so because they're thinking that way, none of this noise matters. This is an investment. You, we are invested in CHSB, whereas traders are not invested in CHSB. They're looking to make a quick profit. Yeah, so they will jump on anything that anybody says that confirms the bias that they have. Okay. When the worry kicks in, that price has come down here and it's like, oh, is this going to keep going? You know, people, I've had it. I've had it in my email box, you know, and some private messages. Is this where it's going to stop? Is price going to turn here? Please let me know. Quick, 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 you know, um, because they want confirmation, you know, that they're not going to lose all of their money, you know. And the saddest thing of all, and I'm just going to say it straight, the saddest thing of all is when people make trading-based decisions, yeah, and try to encompass an investing mindset you can't do both you can't be an investor yeah and use a trader's toolkit the only way that works is under one condition when you're using the trader's toolkit as an investor to time your entry yeah but if you're trying as a trader to be an investor it simply doesn't work because the biases and the psychological biases that you have will hinder your ability to be able to just hold on okay and allow Swissborg to go through its normal cycles and its you know its normal ebb and flow. The company is strong. The company is not going anywhere. There are you know features that are going to be introduced, and I know people are getting frustrated because these features you know are you know haven't been introduced yet. And 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 it, but my my point is, we've said before, and it's been mentioned in the chat by many educated people and people who are very intelligent. We don't want services to be introduced that are broken. We don't want services to be introduced just to bump the price of CHSB to save people from, you know, uh, taking a loss because they, they bought up here. 
you know the company doesn't sit around a table and say well at least i don't think they do anyway you know and say oh you know guys x amount of people bought at 150 so you know, uh, let's do them a solid and introduce services that we're simply not ready to introduce yet, just so we can bump the price of Swissborg and you know mitigate that you know, that pain that they're feeling. I I absolutely sympathise with any pain that anybody's feeling when they're sitting in a losing position. Okay, what seems like a losing position anyway. I've done it, guys. I've sat in stocks that have halted for days. You know what I mean? And you want to vomit. I've been there, trust me. Um, but you learn from these experiences, and I've learned that throughout my trading life over 25 years, this is healthy. This is normal. We are expecting this. Yeah. Um, and the acceleration as it started to go down, we'll have to go to the four hour to see this. The acceleration on the way down as it started to go down, there was a little bit of relief here as it first initially hit that, that uh, liquidity pool. And then it just started to accelerate and accelerate and accelerate. You get panic selling. You get people that are just jumping out because they're just thinking, Do you know what, this is not going to stop. This is not going to stop and it's just going to keep going and all logic goes out the window and they're trading purely based and the decisions that they are making are purely based on emotion and not logic or common sense. You know, now I'm not telling anybody what to do with CHSB. It's your prerogative. It's your investment. It's your trading. It's your money. OK, I can only tell you what I'm personally doing. OK, uh, and I'm invested in CHSB. I trade the Forex market. This is something that I do daily. OK, and when I find the trade that I'm looking for, when I'm looking at the markets, I don't trade daily, but when I'm looking at the markets and I find an opportunity that sets up the way I want it to set up specifically based on the conditions that I'm looking for, then I will enter the market and I will exit the market and I'm done for the week. That's trading. What I'm doing with Swissborg is investing in the company. This is why I'm spending time doing these videos. This is why I'm spending my time helping as many people as I can. This is why I'm back and forth with the Swissborg team, some of the people that I've been speaking to in the chat uh, and in private messages that are part of the DAO program, for example. You know, this is why I'm, I'm, I'm going out of my way to, um, uh, I don't want to say throw myself into the company, but going out of my way to, you know, to, to help and to educate and to be part of something that I absolutely believe in, you know. So these are my long term ideas. And this is what keeps me calm and sane. Yeah, when it comes to watching these dips and these moves lower, um, you know, and they don't worry me at all. Because uh, the, the main reason being, I'm invested with money that that doesn't affect me. Yeah, um, I if I lose what's in there, if this goes to zero, I'm, I'm not going to starve. Whereas there are people um, uh, there must be people, you know, that have invested in CHSB because, you know, they have this kind of Lamborghini mindset or big house mindset where they believe it's going to go to the moon and they're going to make a fortune. And it's always been like that, you know, with investing and trading throughout the ages, you know, and that's never going to change. People will always be looking for, you know, a, a, a quick book, you know, um, and unfortunately there are going to be those people that will look back at CHSB and Swissborg as a company, you know, in years to come, um, that will, you know, feel the sting of um, going through this process. I'll say it like that because I want to be very careful how I say it. All right. So technically, uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to remove this because that's been traded to this line here. I'm going to leave because it denotes the kind of one dollar level, you know, uh, and it shows us um, where price is settling, you know, as each candle goes above or below the line. Uh, I did mention in yesterday's video um, that I was very confident that, you know, we're in an area now where we should start to see some upside. There's nothing to stop this from going up in terms of liquidity um, on the way up uh, and that we could potentially, as I mentioned yesterday, that we could have potentially or we could potentially, you know, see um, a little bit more downside, which we saw today. Um, I never gave a specific number because I was careful how I, you know, I was presenting the information. Um, and we've seen that today. We've seen a little bit of downside and we've seen a nice little response from this uh, from this level down here. So I'm going to be absolutely clear and just explain that the area of liquidity is here. This is the full daily liquidity pool. OK, we're about 50 percent into this now. Look where we stopped. Was it random? OK, look where we stopped. Yeah, we stopped right in the middle. And what I'll have to do just to be absolutely precise and clear, we stopped almost 
to the I was going to say to the pit but to the scent just there within the body of this candle yeah this is significant this means something so if we go down to an hourly chart okay and we zoom out a little bit okay and then we zoom back in and I'll show you the actual area you can see it lines up perfectly with this small area here just before it started to, to, to run up okay and it didn't retest this level okay all the way up all the way up all the way up yeah until eventually we get to a point where price starts to stabilize at the top starts to come back down pops a little bit here and then we come all the way all the way now this is taking a bit of time but all the way back down now to this area again yeah almost where we finally tapped back into the original point of release yeah so with all of that said yeah um, I'm uh, you know very confident you know that we are going to stabilize in this area um, I'm not going to say that I don't see any more downside we have to be mindful that there is a liquidity pull down here on the daily chart and I'm going to take this off now because um, I don't want to go into too much but we have to be mindful that there is a liquidity pool we're 50 about 50 percent into that liquidity pool so um, we may see um, a, a bit more drive lower just to take out this low as well um, but this whole area just here okay between 110 and around about I'd say 85 ish yeah possibly 80 so between 80 and 110 okay uh, is an area that I simply cannot see uh, or do not see technically order flow wise from a price uh, delivery point of view uh, that price will go past that point okay um, and I don't want to go on record and say that but I'm just trying to instill a little bit of sanity and a little bit of calmness you know in um, um, the community you know remember guys I don't have to do this you know what I mean um, and also remember as well that the videos that I that I create people watch these videos and they they make decisions based on what I'm saying and that's something that I, I try to, to to stop as much as I can and make sure that people are doing their own analysis but I can't prevent that because for me to prevent that means to just not do videos and then people are going to miss out on some quality information because I believe what I'm talking about is solid information you know and I don't want to stop posting videos just because you know there's people out there that can't control their emotions um, because that's not fair on those that really want to you know want to learn you know and go through this process but um, just please be mindful of what you're doing you know uh, be patient um, and these are basic trading investment you know um, um, qualities that we should all have anyway and things that we should be working on you know um, and I still work on them now I'm not perfect nobody's perfect man so um, I'm I'm you know I'm very confident in CHSB you know and I'm very confident in the country you know in the company there are features that are going to be released there are things you know that um, for me anyway i don't want to speak for anybody else but there are things for me that give me confidence you know in my holding uh, of chsb um and i'm more than happy to leave it uh you know danzo made a very good point danzo line you know he's uh, he's not doing anything until another 12 months you know uh, my time horizon is very similar you know from now we're, you know basically the start of april i'm quite happy to hold right to the end of the year you know um at the absolute bare minimum and see where we are you know um so i don't you know my eyeballs aren't bleeding my, i'm not back and forth on the app constantly checking every five minutes so the only time i ever go on the app really i mean i log in and out obviously but the only time that i go on the app to make any real decision is when i'm going to invest again you know or move money around um i don't go on there to specifically look at chsb's price and what my profit or loss is and you know i'm not going to let that affect my day either you know so i have that plan it's a long-term plan it's a solid plan and i'm more than happy to just allow things to to go through the the normal everyday motions and, and, and weekly and monthly emotions and then you know we'll assess it you know at different parts throughout the year summer you know autumn you know and then uh, and then the end of the year so i will leave that with you guys i hope everybody's having an awesome uh, an awesome friday uh, weekend's coming so i'm going to be doing a full rundown on all the uh, the currencies uh, i might dip into forex a little bit as well because i've been i've been lacking a little bit for the people that have been around way before i started doing crypto um videos 
So I'll probably do a, a quick rundown on the uh, the usual currencies that we do uh, over on the forex side, um, but I might separate those videos just to keep you know keep the two separate. Um, and with all of that said, guys, I hope everybody has a great day, and I will catch up with you guys in the chat. Take care.